Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because we're going to take a close look, or better said, like a quick recap of the Senpower Mini Television and can we use it with a Super NES Mini Classic. The Super SNES Mini Classic. Now you're playing with power? fake power because in the end what are these things just mini collectible items that play old school retro games more like an emulation mini machine and i like them personally i really love the things they are releasing because like the super nes and the nes mini classics are high quality products but i must say i was always a big fan of the sega mega drives genesis for the us watchers and i was super excited to see that Sega released a very nice one. I love this Sega. I already did a video on my Senpao, so consider subscribing and hit the little bell and check out the other videos. But I must say the Super Nintendo Mini Classic, I love this thing. The way how it looks and how it plays, because I find it always super fascinating that even they're making like a completely new product, it feels like this authentic Nintendo quality, like always. But when you're talking about the controller, this like is this weird thing going on. Like it feels like holding the 90s controller all over again in my hands. Or maybe it's just my personal problem that I'm used to so much of these China crap controllers that now I'm holding an actual good quality controller that I'm not used to it. But let's take a close look at the Senpao. Let's do a quickie about that. But okay, so let's talk about the Senpao Mini TV. One I can quick recap for the people who didn't see the review to understand what it is. So basically it's an Android box inside a mini television. Has a capability to emulate games, but also has an input to play some games. So it includes a very horrible Super NES controller that we're not going to use in this video because this is only for the Android part. So this is what you're going to get inside the Senpao box. We're going to get a 9 volt 2 amp power supply. It is a quite a cheap version. Of course, we're going to get the remote. We're not have the option to use this so far I know because this thing is only for the Android part. There we're having the manual. Let's do a quick explanation how the device itself works, but also going to show you here in this video, of course. The Senpao itself comes with a 3.5 inch IPS LCD display that also has the option with the bigger knob to change to black and white color for the real authentic experience with a game like Cuphead. But we're not going to use it of course with this video. So with a total weight of 332 grams, it's a small but it's still a quite heavy product. Because the device itself is fully made of plastic and also includes a TV box. The display itself has a resolution of 640 by 480. It's not a very big, it's only 3.5 inches, but you can see here with the Senpao logo, it looks very nice. To at the back we're going to get two USB ports, we only can use these of course with the Android box. And in a separate review, making this more like a mini gaming machine, check it out if you're interested. And of course the two switches, and these are very important, one is for turning it on, and the other one is switching between the HDMI inputs. And that is what we're going to do today to test out the product on the Senpao Mini Television. The boot up sequence, I just wanted to give you a quick look of the Android, is pretty cool. And it's not really interference, more like an intro of the TV box. So at the front we're going to get the bigger knob. Here we can change out the contrast. I can put them on black and white. Pretty cool. I did make a video about playing with Cuphead. Just an, an awesome thing you can do with it. The bottom one is the volume control and the thing just goes very loud. The knob itself feels like a very quality knob. A little bit sturdy, but I like it. At the top we're going to find the speaker itself. It's only one speaker, so we're having basically mono sound. A little bit of a bummer in my opinion and more like the last favorite part of the TV box. But don't get me wrong, it goes very loud. So that's more like the overview of the system itself. So let's get back to a regular schedule and let's use this HDMI input. Okay guys, so enough about the television. Let's talk about the Super NES Mini Classic and how does it work out on this mini television. 
So I already mentioned like this thing has like an HDMI input so you can connect all kinds of products but not everything works very well. But that is the reason why I want to make this extended video about this Super NES Mini Classic. So let's play a couple of my favorite games and let's have some fun together. Okay guys, so this is more like the quick revisiting of the Senpao. I was wanted to test that out with the Super NES different systems, how they are working out on this. So in the end, this is just a really cool collectible mini classic system with a mini television. You can put them on for display in your collection. There are many ways you can do. You can also play with them, but it's not super convenient of course. Uh, but I thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.